What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I cover all of the lines of sight, wall runs, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in Infinite Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the last of the base maps. I actually completely forgot about this map initially. I thought I already finished it, but some people were telling me I did forget Grounded, so we're going to be covering Grounded today. Let's get into it. Alright guys, on Grounded, I don't have a ton of like completely mind-blowing spots for you, but I have a couple really nice lines of sight that you'll be able to use while you're navigating the map, as well as this wall run right here. A lot of people still don't know that this wall run exists. I very rarely see people using it, and I uh, just wanted to make sure I pointed that out for those people that still haven't seen that wall run yet. Now, getting over by the sea domination flag, if you're pushing towards these guys over here, you've got pretty good cover here, but you can only see like a little bit, and you kind of have to expose yourself if you want to get a line of sight on these people here. Unless you hop up right on the corner of this crate right here. If you crouch, you're completely hidden. Stand up. There you go. Excellent line of sight over top here. And you're going to have the advantage in this gunfight every single time. Now getting into the middle of the map, this one is very situational. You want to make sure, like this is more so if you're coming from the sea side of the map, you, ha you know your teammates have that locked down. And you have some teammates that are maybe pushed up in that area there. So you don't expect enemies to be coming from there. This is a really common choke point. People will come through that doorway back there all the time. So sometimes, and like I said, I'm not going to be lingering here because it is very dangerous, you are very exposed, but sometimes if you jump up like this or you just walk up this little ramp like this, you get a great line of sight on anybody coming through that doorway, and usually they don't expect this at all. They don't expect somebody from the outside area to have a clear line of sight on them as they come through there, so you'll pick them off through there, no problem whatsoever. Just make sure you're not lingering here. Now getting over to this area here, right next to that last spot I showed, if you can manage to get down in this area, maybe you're coming from this way, maybe you use this wall run right here to get into this area, and you know somebody's up here, instead of jumping up here and then trying to use this cover, which is usually what they expect, you can get a much better line of sight by simply backing off like this, and you can choose to expose as much of yourself as you want. You can expose just a very little amount of yourself, or you can back off a little bit more, get a better line of sight, crouch, you're completely hidden, and this gives you an excellent line of sight against these guys, and even though they have the height advantage on you, you have the advantage of being able to show only as much of yourself as you want. Now on this wall run, pretty much everybody knows that you can wall run on the inside like this. A lot of people still don't know though, you can run on the outside of this area right here. It can be a little sketchy at times, it's kind of weird, like sometimes it catches, sometimes it doesn't catch perfectly, so you gotta be a little bit careful with it. But it is a much better way in a lot of situations to be doing that, because oftentimes you'll have people just like sitting and watching the inside here, and if you pop up from over here, they won't expect it. Same thing goes from the other side. You'll often have people sitting there or up here and they're just pre-aiming this inside wall run and they'll have no idea what happened when you came when you come wall running around the outside like that. Now if you have enemies that are coming from the A flag area and maybe you have people that are camping up in that window there and trying to defend that area, if you're in the middle of the map and once again this is something where it is situational, you want to make sure you are covered in the appropriate areas, if you come up onto this area right here, this is an excellent line of sight. Looking just over top of this little like V area here, you got a great line of sight in the window. If you want to get a better line of sight over towards where the A flag is, you can stand up, you get a better line of sight this way. This is something that I've not seen a lot of people using and it's a great way to challenge people that are coming through that, that particular lane right there. Now getting all the way onto this side of the map over here, oftentimes on an opening route or not even necessarily an opening route, you come up through this doorway right here and this is a big clash point. You'll have enemies in the cave over there and they'll be just pre-aiming this doorway like this, and you'll try to fight each other like this, and it's basically a 50-50 gunfight. Neither of you have cover, and it's such a common gunfight. What I like to do, it's just such a minor thing, and a lot of people don't seem to notice this, use this thing as cover. As you can see right here, if you're just standing up, you can look over top. Don't, don't strafe out too far, because half your body will be exposed there, but if you just strafe out a little bit, you've got excellent cover here to use. They can shoot through this, but still, it's much better than standing out in the open like this, and I'm not seeing enough people use this piece of cover right here. Now getting back to this area, this one is extremely situational, but in Domination, for instance, if you have enemies that are capturing the A flag, and you don't want to challenge them, maybe you get hurt or something, and you're taking cover back here, or you make it over to this area right here, and you know there's enemies right there, it's very simple. Hop up like this, and look at that. They won't normally expect this move to be made, You've got great cover there. You could also try shooting through this crack here, but I find it's easiest to just jump up on this barrel, and there you go. Excellent cover on these guys. Now, right in this building, and more specifically at this window, it's such a common place for people to be. People are constantly checking here, so lingering here is usually not the greatest idea. You've got like a fair gunfight over towards the caves. Actually, you have a little bit of an advantage over them based on cover, uh, but still, it's where everybody's looking for you. 
Uh, you, if you want to challenge these people over here, I have a little bit of an alternative. It's a little dangerous sometimes to cross through this doorway because people there and in the caves can see you or the, like the top cave area can see you. But if you come up to this area right here and you make it all the way in here, you're hidden from that area there, but you can strafe over just enough and get a nice line of sight on people that are using that for cover there. Or you can go prone here and do the same sort of thing. It's not a place I'd be camping all game because once people catch on, you're a relatively easy kill for them. But it is just a little alternative if you've got a tough battle against somebody that's right there, for instance, and they're just pre-aiming this window really, really strong, you can just come over here and know that you can use that as an alternative to attack them. Now, getting right up over in this area here, a lot of times you have people that are up in this cave and they're just like crouched and usually they're pre-aiming the window like this. Maybe they're even standing up and pre-aiming that window. And a lot of times you're down here and it's like, I want to go and kill those guys, but maybe I don't want to flank all the way around and shoot them. And maybe I don't want to just jump up into their sights and try and shoot them. A lot of times that's what I'll end up doing. And you can take them off guard by doing that quite, quite a few times or quite often. But if you get yourself in this situation right here and there's guys up there, all you have to do is walk up this little ramp. A lot of people don't realize that you can do this. And you will actually be seeing them quite well as you come up this ramp. So just have your sights up and ready to go. As you strafe up this ramp, you'll get a nice clean line of sight on them. And they're going to be so focused on this area here. By the time they snap down to this area to see you, you should already have them killed. So great little move. It's such a minor thing, but it's actually gotten me quite a few kills on unsuspecting people uh, compared to just jumping right up in front of their sights. So finally for you guys, once again, over by this wall run right here. Sometimes you have enemies that are kind of chilling down in this area right over there. Just about fell off the map there. And you want to try and get like a line of sight on them without falling off the map yourself. What a lot of people don't know is you can very easily just jump up onto this thing here, crouch, you can use this for cover, stand up, and there you go. Great line of sight on these people here. You're extremely exposed back here, so again, be aware of that. But if you have those enemies that are there, very situational spot, and they'll have no idea what hit them. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for Grounded. And with that, we are finally done all of the base maps, as well as the DLC 1 maps for Infinite Warfare. If you guys have missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. And we've got new DLC coming up very soon. I will have maps exposed on those maps coming as soon as I get to them. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.